When I talk about point of contact, I really mean where we place the bow in relation to the fingerboard and the bridge. Let's say that our default position really is sort of in the middle of those things. So here. So it's very easy to make an, a nice, rich sound, but nothing too loud, nothing too quiet. But we can really use the fingerboard as well. Sultasto is the Italian term for that. Particularly when we're playing in orchestra, we're sometimes required to play really quite far over the fingerboard. So alone, this would sound a little bit ridiculous, but actually, in an orchestral situation, we do need to play like this sometimes. So you can see the bow is suspended right over the fingerboard here. And if I was to play... And we have to be very careful that the bow doesn't touch any of the other strings because the strings are so much closer together at that point. So it would be easy to grab that other string as well. Now, if I bring the bow to the other extreme, this is called ponticello, which means playing on the bridge. And it sounds like this. which is a very mysterious sound. What I like about this sound is that you really hear all the harmonics of the string that you're playing. So... I'm doing this by doing an excessive vibrato in the left hand and applying some pressure near the bridge to get this ponticello sound. Now, there's also another bowing which I sometimes use in uh, contemporary pieces, which is interesting to do. You have to use a slightly different bow hold, and I call this helicopter bowing, and it looks a little bit like this. Now, granted, there's not much use for this in the works of Bach, but it's a very interesting stroke to have at your disposal.